Welcome to the OnTech DIY series. I'm Chris, a licensed smart home expert here to break down smart device installations. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step process to install and set up your Google Nest Yale Smart Lock. Let's get started. Everything you see here is included in the box along with your Smart Lock. We also recommend having a Phillips screwdriver or power drill with a Phillips bit, a level, and a tape measure. A chisel or drill bit can also help if you need to adjust the holes on your door. To avoid damage to your smart lock, we recommend you do not put the batteries in the lock until it's installed. For setup with the Nest app, you'll need a compatible phone or tablet. Be sure to have your Wi-Fi password handy too. Additionally, you'll need to have a Nest Connect to complete the setup of your door lock. If your device did not come with the Nest Connect, you will need to purchase this separately. First, check the compatibility of your door. The door width must be within 1 and 3 fourths inches and 2 and a quarter inch to be compatible. Additionally, the borehole has to have a diameter of at least 2 and 1 8 inches. This is because the deadbolt on the lock must be able to extend fully, otherwise your smart lock will not operate properly. This may require you to make the borehole larger in the door frame. If you need to modify the borehole to make the correct size, use a hole saw to enlarge this hole. Our technicians are fully trained and have all their tools with them. If you need any help, visit OnTechSmartServices.com. Now, let's install the smart lock. Remove the old lock and strike plate from your door. Keep the old door lock handy just in case. The Nessio lock works with most standard doors, but if there's any issue, you can simply reinstall your old lock. Adjust the lock's deadbolt length so it fits in the door with the bolt retracted. Install the deadbolt in the door using the included screws. Ensure the arrow on the deadbolt is pointed up, then install the strike plate on the door frame. The new plate included in your lock is engineered precisely to fit the Nestio lock, so you'll need to install the new one even if your current strike plate looks the same. Use a flathead screwdriver to lock and unlock the deadbolt. Confirm that the door lock and strike plate are aligned properly. Next, you will install the keypad on the outside of the door. Make sure the deadbolt is retracted. Pull the cable through the lock hole and press fit the keypad into the lock hole. Now, let's install the inside portion. Detach the mounting plate from the back of the lock and install it on the door. Be sure to hold the cable firmly to keep the outside keypad from falling out. Pull the cable through the bottom hole. Align the mounting plate pins with the holes on the deadbolt. Ensure the keypad and mounting plate are aligned vertically with the door. Secure the mounting plate using the screws with the right length for your door. Before you fully tighten the screws, make sure that the keypad and plate are level. Remove the battery cover from the lock by pressing the included key into the hole at the top of the lock. Plug the cable into the lock and route the cable behind the hooks. Ensure that the marker on the cable connector aligns with the marker on the lock. Additionally, make sure the deadbolt is fully retracted and the lock's turn knob is pointed vertically. Guide the spindle through the hole and snap the lock onto the mounting plate. Use the included screws to secure the lock to the mounting plate. Manually test the lock both with the door open and with the door closed. Close the door and make sure that it's fully unlocked. Insert the included AA batteries into the battery compartment. Do not put on the battery cover yet as you'll need to scan the code inside to connect the lock to the Nest app. Hi from Yale and Nest. Press the Yale logo to begin. Tap the Yale logo on the keypad to wake it up. Follow the instructions from the lock to program the master code to calibrate the lock it's important to keep the door closed while the lock calibrates itself. If you have the door open, the lock may not work. Create a master code that you would like to program and write it down for later use. Start by creating the master code. It should be four to eight digits long. Then press the check to continue. The master 
master code is set. Next, make sure the door is closed, then press the check to continue. Checking the lock. Installation is complete and your lock is ready to be added to your Nest account. Now let's set up the lock in the Nest app. Download the Nest app on your mobile device. If you don't have a Google account, create one through the app or go to accounts.google.com. Verify that your smartphone or tablet is connected to the correct Wi-Fi network and ensure Bluetooth and location services are enabled. In the Nest app on your device, select Settings, then Add Product. Scan the QR code on the Nest lock. Once the Nest app discovers the lock and the Nest Connect, Press and hold the button above the lock knob to pair the devices. If they don't pair, try moving the Nest Connect closer to the lock. Finally, replace the battery cover on the lock. Congratulations, you've successfully installed and set up your Google Nest Yale Smart Lock. Enjoy the convenience and security of your new Smart Lock. It's keyless, so you can lock and unlock the door from anywhere with the Nest app. Give people you trust a passcode instead of a key and get alerts when they come and go, and lock the door with a tap. If you have any questions, visit ontechsmartservices.com for more information.